Hey beautiful people, so I'm actually sitting here because I just watched Euphoria season 2 episode 1 and I wanted to share my thoughts. I had watched this show a long time ago when it first came out so it had been a while since I saw it. So last week I sat down for like two days straight and I rewatched the entire season 1 as well as a special episode so I was really excited, really up to date and just ready to watch season 2. So this is going to be my review and some spoilers and we're gonna jump right in just to give you a little warning okay so this episode we get background into fez's story fezco's story and ashtray's story and i don't know about anybody else but i was really wondering uh there was one episode when fez was taking care of his grandmother he was giving her a sponge bath and this is when rue was manic and he was like i love you grandma and it really threw me off because that whole time I thought that was his mother and I was wondering what was going on with her and we learned in this first episode of season two that that's actually his grandmother however they didn't say what happened to her it just happened that one day she fell and ended up in the hospital and that time was critical and when the doctor said something like every second counts I thought it was like maybe she had a stroke or a heart attack but none of that was confirmed we kind of just saw fezco and ashtray just age up and then it went from there so i wish we got a little bit more information about the grandmother and just how fez and ashtray navigated the world with just them like the hospital didn't ask if the children had any next of kin like they didn't look into the family at all i don't know that just threw me off um after that we see jules and oh i can't remember her name we see jules go to the party and we see that cassie's sister i can't remember her name either uh is looking for her and apparently cassie got out of the car while they were driving to the party was drunk and she goes to a liquor store, gets donuts, and then sits outside the liquor store. And that's when Nate comes up. He buys some beers, and then he offers her a ride to the party. And Nate's drinking and driving and handing Cassie drinks. And at one point, he's going like 80 miles, 90 miles, 100 miles, and Cassie's like getting scared. And it's weird how it switched from her being scared to like her okay with it. So when he was starting to go fast, she was like clenching on the seat, like scared for her life. And then he hit something in the road, maybe like a rock or something, and the car jumps and the beer spills on her. And she ends up like taking off her underwear and throwing it in the back seat and then sticking her head out the window, just completely okay with him speeding now. And in that moment, I thought that he was going to crash. And I thought, because they made such a big deal, they really zoomed in on her seatbelt. Like, zoomed in on her taking off her seatbelt and, like, sticking her head out the car. And I thought of that one movie. I forgot what it's called, but when the little sister was in the back of the car with her brother and she got decapitated. That's what it made me think of, and I thought that was going to happen. It didn't. We didn't even see them arrive to the party, but we find out later that they did when um, Maddie has to go to the restroom and Nate and Cassie are in there hooking up. And what happens next is that Nate ends up putting Cassie into the tub and like closing the shower curtain and Cassie goes in there, she pees. Then um, the guy that she had been talking to in the hallway comes in and they smoke and um, Cassie's phone ends up ringing because Lexi, her sister, I remember her name, uh, was calling her and it was vibrating on the bottom of the tub floor. And the guy that was smoking with, there's so many names, there's so many people, but the guy that was smoking with Maddie, his name is Travis, heard it. And he went to go look and Cassie had turned around so they couldn't see her face. And he was like, oh, there's a girl passed out in here. And then Maddie was like, I don't care. Let's go dance. Like, you want to go dance? So they go dance. Um, this is how I just remember it happening, but there's a lot. Uh, also, Rue, oh, I didn't even see. Oh, there was so much more that happened, actually. Um, Fesco, Ashtray, and Rue went to some drug deal, and 
Rue kind of got kidnapped. Um, <laughs> and they made them strip to make sure they weren't wearing a wire because there was this teacher that didn't, like, she was a drug dealer and I guess she didn't make enough money teaching, so she ended up going into drug dealing. And they, like, searched them and all that stuff. They got the drugs, whatever, and then they went to the party. Um, there was a girl, I guess she was a hooker. Uh, she ended up getting snatched up too. She was in the car uh, with Rue because the guy that Fez was meeting up with told them that she'll stay in the car and be quiet. Uh, she ended up doing heroin in the car with Rue. And we see later when Rue goes back to the car, she goes through that container that had the heroin in it that the girl left and we don't find out if she actually did it but i'm pretty sure she did because um she ended up going to the laundry room of the house and meeting this blonde haired guy with like tattoos on his face and he's like snorting something up and she's like you tell me what you're snorting i'll tell you what i you know what drugs you're on i'll tell you what drugs i'm on and they end up you know snorting drugs together and there was a part where she thought she was dying and the guy was freaking out and she was like don't worry like i have adderall in my sock just crush it up and you know i'll be better and then she takes the adderall she feels fine she's like i thought i was gonna die um so that happens and like i said maddie goes on the dance floor with travis and cassie still in the tub when a guy comes in showing all of his everything um and he's gonna go use the restroom and he's like you're hot but i'm still gonna poop which is a nod to the joke earlier when maddie was knocking on the door when nate was in there she was like oh my gosh you're pooping at a party like who does that you're gross um so that happened and cassie gets out she's walking through the party and lexi's like where have you been what's wrong with you like and then also mckay comes and nate's like, oh hey man so, so nice to see you da, 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 da. and during this whole thing fesco is on the couch um on and off with Lexi like Lexi keeps getting up looking for Cassie and they're having a conversation which is really nice because we didn't really get to see much of Lexi and we don't really get to see much of Fezco either because it, we only see him when he interacts with Rue which was really nice to see both of them and they were getting to know each other it was really cool they seem really sweet I feel like they would be a good couple um but yeah they were talking but the whole time like Fez is eyeing Nate because you know previous season nate uh got his house raided by the i don't know what special or i wouldn't say special forces but i don't know i guess it was a cops so he got his house raided because fez um uh, he threatened him if he didn't stay away from rue and her friends uh you know he was gonna kill him so nate ended up setting him up um so he was eyeing him the whole night and then um McKay runs into Cassie as well. They go talk in the room and Nate, uh, not Nate. McKay is talking about like, you know, what happened? Um, like, why aren't we talking basically? And Cassie's just like, I don't think, you know, I should be a girlfriend. I don't think I'm a good person. And then this, this hurts McKay's feelings. He goes in the house and Nate ends up coming to him. And he's like, did you guys sleep together? And McKay's like, no, we didn't. We just talked. He's like, there's no way you went in there and just talked to her. And he's like, yeah, we did talk. He's like, so you went in there and didn't. Oh, he was. It was so cringy, the stuff he was saying. But he was being so creepy. He was just being super specific. He was like, so you, did you use a condom? Did you, where did you finish? Where did you finish on her face? You, you know, all this stuff. And McKay's like progressively getting like weirded out and kind of mad. He's like, okay, Nate, stop. Like, this isn't funny anymore. Like, it was just weird. I just don't like the Nate character. He's so unlikable. Uh, so that happens. And what am I missing? Uh, closer to, you know, the end of the episode. Um, so we'll say that Rue was in the backyard with the guy that she had been doing stuff with in that laundry room and she's sitting by the fire and um Jules finds her and they talk kind of and you know Rue's kind of being standoffish and you know Jules just asking like oh when did you relapse and Rue's like the day you left the night you left and this makes Jules feel really bad and then um Ashtray comes up to Rue and was like if you want to ride we're leaving now like come on so she she tells Jules like oh yeah I got I guess I gotta go, 
and then on the way to leaving outside the party she meets up with Jules again she just spills her guts she's like you know I really miss you and I want to be with you and then they kiss and then this is when Fez goes up to Nate and he knocks him over the head with a Tito's bottle and then he starts like punching him on the floor and it looks like Nate might be dead or at least have a broken jaw like something serious and everyone's watching this and um Lexi's kind of looking at Fez like uh we were just talking you were super cool and now you almost killed this dude like this is so weird and she's just so confused and I believe that's where the episode ends off if I'm not mistaken so this whole episode felt like just it was just filmed in one go which was really interesting um, besides the beginning when we learned about Fez's uh, background but the party scenes and everything just seems like it was continuous it didn't feel like an hour long I was like dang keep going keep going like I was so excited to see more and more but yeah I think that was a really good first episode and I actually saw that Zendaya is an executive producer and I wanted to know what that really meant and I couldn't find anything online and then also I kept seeing when I was watching season one that Drake was an executive producer and the way they wrote it excuse me in the credits it was like somebody was like nicknamed Drake but I didn't or maybe I didn't read it right but I was like no that can't be the rapper Drake like it wasn't him and when I was looking up Zendaya um her credit for being executive producer I saw that Drake was actually an executive producer I was like that's so interesting I wonder what the jobs were um but anyway yeah I really I I like the episode I'm kind of sad that they're only releasing it you know one by one because I I I was explaining this to someone like a lot of shows you know um people from the teams of the shows that they create they don't want to just mass put out all the episodes because they want people to keep talking about it keep garnering a lot of attention instead of you know how squid games you know people watched it for a month and then that was kind of it they wanted to keep going and you know for everyone to really appreciate every episode instead of just binging it and just finishing and then being done with it you know because it also took a while to get this new season so yeah i'm excited to see what the next episodes bring i don't know how many are in the season um but we're just gonna go day by day and this show just tells you to expect the unexpected because i i really i really thought they were gonna crash when they were in the car on the way to the party uh nate and cassie and uh, i thought that cassie and nate were gonna get caught and it was so crazy because i forgot that nate and McKay were best friends and that Cassie dated McKay so it was like double um double um sabotage not sabotage but it was like they both stabbed somebody in the back they both stabbed their best friends in the back and I was like wow because Maddie and Cassie are friends and McKay and Nate are friends and Maddie is Nate's ex and McKay is Cassie's ex like that's so crazy that they hooked up I was I was yeah in awe but shocked but yeah, that is that is that first episode of season two. And I just wanted to share my thoughts on it and just break it down a little bit. I know the order might be a little wonky because my memory's not that great anyway. But yeah, I liked it and I'm ready to see what's coming in the future. Let me know how you guys feel about this first episode of season two down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.